here. Please. Bastards. Do you think they'll try and get revenge? Aiden, remember me? Neris, the ferocious mama bear. How could I forget? Forgive me. Are you still upset with how I treated you? I've got bigger problems to worry about. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was certain you wanted to hurt my boys. You know what people say about pilgrims. You run into trouble again? I'm afraid so. You wouldn't come to the Peacekeepers unless it was serious. Not after they took control of the water. I don't care about water, Aiden. Scott's gone missing again. I've been everywhere, asked everyone, but no one's seen him. And the PKs won't help. Please. I don't know what to do now. Oh, uh, you want me to look for him? Would you do that? I'm ashamed even to ask you. Tell me about Scott's disappearance. Um, he left in the afternoon without Mo and never came back. He was gone overnight. Even more strange, some men came around that evening looking for him. And what did they want? Wouldn't say. So I chased him off. But later I saw Rude, Rude Weghorst talking to him. I got a bad feeling. He's had it in for my boy lately. Maybe he has something to do with this. Scott's got a huge crush on Rude's daughter and Rude's not having it. Started treating my boy like trash. These men, any idea who they were? Um, said they were after someone without a biomarker. But that couldn't be Scott, of course. They're not from the bazaar, that's for sure. A and not the kind of people we like here. All right, I'll talk to Rude. You go home and keep an eye on Mo. Thank you. I'll pray for you, Aiden. Every day. Someone carved a hunk of skin out of Commander Lucas's shoulder. God, who does that? Now you're rude. We have to talk. Talk to you? About what? <coughs> About Scott Gunter. He didn't come home last night. <coughs> and what of it? So you suddenly care about what happens to us bizarre folk? I thought you were a low-down bandit like every pilgrim, but you're even worse. You're a PK dog. I just want to help, for Neris's sake. <coughs> help you? The water thief? <coughs> Damn it, rude. A kid's life could be at stake. Fine. What do you want to know? <coughs> Some men came looking for Scott yesterday, and from what I hear, you talked to them. Yeah, they were recruiters or something. Recruiters? What do you mean? They were looking for able-bodied young men, so I referred them to Scott. I want to talk to Lus. 
Get lost, Pilgrim. I won't let you bother my daughter. What if something has happened to Scott? No, out of the question. Fuck off before. You guys talking about Scotty? What's wrong? Has something happened to him? He's gone missing. It's you. You took our water from us. Listen, this is important. When did you last see him? Uh, yesterday afternoon. He was going on about some mission. Said he was going to prove him. Himself. He can be a romantic. Romantic? <laughs> I love you, Luss. But you gotta stop falling for that moron shit. So, what was this mission? Nerys sent him, not the peacekeepers. You can talk to him. Uh, I, I really don't know. Um, he just said that it would help us be together. Uh, you know where he was headed to prove himself? Let's see. He did mention Crocodile Flats. It's a neighborhood west of Houndfield. That place used to be teeming with junkies. Looking for a fix of Crocodile, a synthetic drug coming from Russia. Scott said he knew of some treasure there in an abandoned building. On Queen Harriet Crescent, I think. Something that would help us be together. You gotta find him. That's exactly what I intend to do. Dad? What's happening? Did you know about this? Just go back home. It takes balls for you to come here. Have you seen a kid named Scott Gunter? What's it to you? The boy's gone missing. So follow his example and get lost. You seen anything suspicious? Don't piss me off, PK Dog. Do what you have to do, then get the hell out of the bazaar. I'm warning you. What do you want, man? Seems like Scott was well prepared. Someone tried to force this lock, but he couldn't and didn't get in. 
Hmm. Looks like Scott just dropped everything and ran. He turned left here. He was in quite a hurry. I make two guys chasing him. That easily did you, Scott? Oh, shit. It got brutal. They were dragging him. He must have been unconscious. They turned left here. God, I just hope he's alive. They drag him to that building. So he must be inside. Need to find a way inside. Who knows? Maybe I'm the guy you're looking for. I was minding my own business, and they just started chasing me. You know those men? Only heard of them. They're renegades. Renegades? Yeah. Never seen them at the bazaar before, either. We hoped they'd leave the bazaar alone, since we're dirt poor as it is. They say what they want? No clue. I was headed... Hey, wait a minute. Ah, oh, you. Not you again. Can't forget about that dog, can you? Yes. Well, no. It doesn't matter anymore. But you're still pissed. I'm not pissed, just frustrated. When you gave the water to the PK, you know, that was the best thing that could have happened to me. You serious? My family has its own stocks. Not much, but enough to share a bit, so... I shared with Lus's family. Rude seemed okay with me then. I thought, uh, this is my chance. And, uh, I asked permission to marry Lus. You know what that old goat told me? I can take a guess. He laughed at me. He said I wasn't good enough for his daughter. But I love Lus. How does she love you? What kind of question is that? Well, you give her water. Once we are finally together, there's nothing I won't give her. But first I'll show her father how wrong he is about me. I'll do anything to prove myself to both of them. So that's what this mission is all about. Rude said he'd give me one chance with Lus. Told me about a necklace some rich aunt of his owned. 
worth a bundle. Said it was probably still in her apartment. Ah, so Rude sent you to Crocodile Flats. Sorta. He told me if I could get the necklace, maybe I'd prove myself worthy of his daughter. Worthy enough to marry. So, I have to get it, you know? To be with Lus. You know this is a wild goose chase, don't you? A setup. Why else would thugs have been here? Who else knew you'd be here? Only rude. And yeah, the guy doesn't like me, but why would he set me up? He knows I love Lus. And that doesn't sit well with him. Your mother saw Rude talking to those two thugs yesterday. Probably thought it was the only way to get you to leave his daughter alone. The fucker! Keep me away from Lus! I, I could have gotten killed! Well, fuck that! I'll kill him! Great plan, if you're looking to get hanged. Let them hang me. Ugh, being hanged for killing her father isn't a smart way to impress a lady love, Scotty. I should let him get away with it? I'll handle Rude. You just get home and let your mother know you're safe. She's out of her mind with worry right now. Makes me wonder, though. If there is a necklace in the apartment, it'd be on the top floor, flat 21. But maybe Rude was lying about all that. I wouldn't be surprised. And here, take these. I was gonna use them as a distraction once I got to the apartment, but I'm guessing I won't need them anymore. Where's Scott? Have you found him? Yeah, he's at home with his mother. Safe. Scott survived your mission, Rude. You must be disappointed. What is he talking about? Lus, you know I love you, don't you? And I only want what's best for you. What did you do, Dad? Listen, honey, you know Scott's no good for you. I thought this would knock some sense into the boy, and he'd give up. Give up on what? Or who? Me? <coughs> Since your father seems reluctant to tell the full story, he set Scott up on a suicide mission and had two thugs intercept Scott just to make sure that he never made it back. Should have turned you over to them while I was at it, you piece of shit. That would be your style. Y you did what? I know you didn't like Scott, but how could you? That's it. I'm done with you, father. Well, I hope you're happy. Hey, it's got nothing to do with me. You brought this all down on yourself, and I don't feel sorry for you one bit. 
<coughs> Give me a break. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the god. I don't want to talk to you. Mom, please. I love her. Is this really too much to ask? Why can't she stay with us? I got enough mouths to feed. Aiden! You're here! You're the hero! Be the hero! Help us! You're not gonna like this, Scott, but I've gotten too deep into this already. You're safe. The rest is a family matter. It's not my place to interfere. Why did I even come here? What was I hoping for? No! Lus! Wait! Well, hopefully that's the end of that. <laughs> you think they'll be okay? Scott will be fine. As for Lus, let her monster of a father worry about that. I'm just glad my boy is safe. You know, Pilgrim, people here say horrible things about you, but they got no idea what you're really like. See you later, Neris. Look after your son. They say third time's a charm, but I'm not gonna let Scott out of my sight anymore. You were supposed to be discreet, not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. Sometimes a little thing turns into big. 